welcome to How to Manage Your Course Grading and Gradebook. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at all the different ways that you will use the gradebook when grading the students and inputting grades. A note about the administration block. You as a faculty member will be using grades, reports, and profile. You can go and take a look at what these do, but I would re recommend that you resist the temptation to start clicking around because you may <laughs> accidentally save some changes to the course that you didn't mean to, and oops, you don't want to do that. So grades, reports, and profile. So let's take a look at the grade book. You click on grades, and this is what you're going to see. You can see all of your students, and you're going to see you can click on just the grades for that individual student and you see what they've got. Or you can choose an action, view the grades, greater report, greater report. That's the one you want. But of course, you can explore around and see if there's something that, you, that works better for you. But this is where you go to input grades. Panels of course blocks quiz, required revision quiz, they're all here. If you wanted to see the categories and items just by themselves, you can click over here to categories and items, and you can see the different categories and the items. Quizzes, the teaching philosophy report does, is all by itself, and I've got discussion forums, and that's what the grade book looks like. When I clicked on view, I come right back. The first type of grading activity that we're going to do is grading the essay questions within a quiz. Moodle quizzes will grade the true-false, multiple choice, matching, and even the short answer in most cases. But you're going to have to go back in and take a look to make sure that it graded the short answer correctly. Moodle will not grade essay questions. So I know that there are essay questions in the panels and course blocks. And I can see that maybe there are some students who haven't been graded yet. Yes. I can see that questions 7 and 8, Marsha, Laverne, and Oscar have not been graded yet. Come up here to Manual grading, manual grading. Click on it, and we can choose which question we want to grade. Let's start with question 7, how to contact students. And we can see that some of them have been graded and some of them have not. We can grade them individually by clicking here, and I would grade just Laverne's and just Marsh's and just Oscar's, or we can grade all seven attempts if we want to regrade these, all of them, or we can just grade the ones that haven't been graded yet. Click on there, and you will see, you will see here's Laverne DeFazio. List at least two ways. There's the question that uh, you can contact a student using Moodle. Here's her answer, messages and announcements. Here is the answer key. If you do not see the answer key, contact the instructional designer right away and the instructional designer will go in and turn that feature on. So here is the answer, messages announcements. I can check her answer against the answer key. Messages, yes. And latest news block is also known as announcements, so that is correct. Here I can add some comments or not. That is correct. And then the grade, since so she got two out of two, she put a two in there, and just scroll down. Next one, Marsha. List at least two ways. Call on the phone, send a letter. Well, you can call on the phone, so we have to think about that. Messages, participants link, send a message, news form. 
let's look at the question again using Moodle. No, you cannot call on the phone using Moodle and you can't send a letter. I think she's probably thinking snail mail. Hmm, use your judgment. Let's say, uh, uh, you, uh what's this? Interesting response. And then you can just put your thought patterns beh behind this. Uh, you can't call on the phone, but you can send an email letter, not a snail mail letter. So let's go ahead and in one point because it's maybe point five, point five points. It's kind of sorta, yeah. And then Oscar email and messages. Yeah, that's right. That is correct. And then two out of two, because yeah, you can send the email through the Moodle because it comes through when they post to the discussion forum. You receive an email, and that is through Moodle, so you send it back. So two. And save changes. Now we can see that all of them are graded. And if we wanted to grade question eight, we just pull it down, question eight, and go through the same routine one more time just so we can see it. We we'll want to grade all three attempts or maybe we want to just grade Sulu's he emailed you or something and said you know I think maybe you misunderstood and says yeah that's right I'll go ahead and change that grade so you can do that by clicking on it and it has just his. Yeah. Moving blocks, changing test questions, deleting items and he argued that it says, yeah, you can delete your own discussion forum thread within 30 minutes. That is correct. You can do that. But it's not necessarily with that and changing the center panel. So he, he did a pretty good job. So we're going to go ahead and give him, because he argued it so well, we're going to give him partial credit, 0.5 for that and save changes. So there we go. If we wanted to grade all of these, we would click on grade all three ungraded temps. Go through the same process. Personal information, assignment due dates, assignment due dates in the main page. That is correct. Or you can write whatever you like in there. You don't have to write just that is correct. You want to use positive language, uplifting language, corrective language. I can change anything I want. <laughs> mm. How would we word that? You may change the items listed in the guidelines. A positive language. And she got a zero. <laughs> See. Nothing, says Oscar. Maybe I kind of like this language. I'm going to copy it, come down here, and add that for Oscar paste. Zero. Save the changes. And now all of them are graded. We go back to the overview, and we can see now that all of the quizzes have been graded, the essay questions have been graded. You have until 48 hours after the assignment is due to complete all of the grades. And the students will figure that out <laughs> by themselves. They go in and they check their own grades. But if you want to, send them an email or you can go into messaging and send it to all the different ways that we've already seen to communicate and let them know that graded rates have been posted so they can go in and check their grade books on their own.